So in level flight, trim is going to help you more with maintaining level flight yep. than speed. Because in level flight, the forces that are acting upon you are in equilibrium. So unless you're increasing or decreasing the power, the plane's not going to speed up or slow down unless you change pitch. So trim will help you to keep pitch consistent in level flight so that you don't go up or down. Oh, okay. When climbing or descending, it's a little bit different. When climbing or descending, trim is going to help you, like a, a steering assist or a cruise control, help you to maintain a certain speed while you're climbing or a certain speed while you're descending. Because as you might imagine, climbing with full power would affect speed pitch angle because pitch you're angle. already full power so you can't right. like go past full power to go faster yep. in a climb the only way to go faster is to decrease pitch which you can do with trim now when you're descending let's do the opposite of that let's say that you're high you're coming in and you have power at idle well you can't go any less power so the only way to reduce speed at that point in time or increase speed i mean you but the only way to reduce speed would be to pull the nose up. So especially when you're on base and on final, using the trim button to really dial in your approach speed, which okay. in this aircraft is, we'll call it 65 knots, means that the hand that's on the stick is not going to have to do as much work because trim is the assistant uh, helping you to maintain that speed, which then also frees up some of your, your brain to focus more on your throttle hand, which is going to determine your rate of descent or lack thereof, especially on, on any descent, but especially when you're on final. Because as you felt when we were back in the pattern, you know, if you're running, if, you, if you're going too low and the numbers are coming up the windscreen, all you have to do is slide that hand forward, your throttle hand, yep. and that, that changes that. If you pull pitch, in, the, what you don't want to do in that scenario is increase pitch on the aircraft, because then what are you going to do? What's going to happen to speed? It's going to go up. It's, no, no. When you, when you decrease, oh, oh, the speed is going to slow down. It's going to slow down, yeah. And we're already on final at 60 knots. And yeah, this aircraft stalls at like 35 knots when it's fully configured, so we got a lot of room. But eventually, the extreme of that situation is you'll stall the aircraft, right. because you've pulled it up so much that now all the airspeed's gone. Okay. So that's why I talk about when you are on final, you really want to just pretend like you've got a laser pointer or, or you're shooting guns out of the front of the plane right at those numbers on the threshold by maintaining that constant pitch angle. And trim is your assistant. It's going to make that easier for you. So that Because you saw when I was demonstrating, my right hand really wasn't doing much of anything. No, it wasn't. So as you were, you were going down and you were pushing this forward, the trim a little bit forward to you for about 65... So, so if I was slow, I, I would need to lower the nose, so I would push the trim button up to lower the nose. Uh -oh. If I was fast, you'll see my thumb, click, 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 I'm pushing the trim button down because okay. I want to pull the nose up. And you can make, especially if you when you get in faster aircraft and your final is longer and they're heavier and they don't get moved around so much by the wind, especially on a less windy day, you can really get that plane insanely stable to the point where you can take your hand right off the control and airspeed will be absolutely fixed. Because that's all autopilot is doing for you if you're equipped in a plane with an autopilot and it's flying down on a glide slope. Right. You'll notice the autopilot is not pitching the nose up and down. Oh, okay. If you have auto throttles, which you won't have for a few years until you're in the airlines, um, the, the throttle is what's being adjusted by the autopilot to maintain that constant rate of descent. Oh, uh, okay.